This is the premiere of I Love Maria Calloway. This is Eeyore's show. Eeyore was supposed to do it by himself, but in the last seconds, he got panicky, and he asked me to accompany him. So I did. So I canceled my tea with the ghost of Diana Reeland to assist Eeyore in showing how much he loves Marie Calloway. I'm thirsty. Eeyore, do you want to tell all the audience members why you love Marie Calloway? Go ahead, Eeyore. What? You want me to tell them for you? Fine. Eeyore read uh, Jeremy Lin, and he read Adrian Brody, and he goes to her Tumblr frequently, and he thinks she's moody, don't you, and melancholy, but also she perseveres in what? And she's plucky. Yes, that's your word, right? Plucky. And she's plucky. So Eeyore wanted to make a show to demonstrate uh, the affinity he has for her. Because Eeyore too is melancholy and Eeyore too is sad a lot. Aren't you Eeyore? Because your tail falls off a lot, doesn't it? So um, for each episode, and there will probably be at least a thousand, if not seven, uh, we'll read pieces of her writing. Is there anything you'd like to do before we begin, Eeyore? You want to give a shout out? Who do you want to give a shout out to? Okay, Eeyore would just like to say hi to Piglet and Tigger and Rue. We can't forget Rue and Rue and Kanga and Owl and of course Pooh Bear. What's that about, Pooh Bear? You don't say. No. Okay. Pooh Bear, if you're watching this, Eeyore would be much appreciative if you just sent him some kind of note because Eeyore uh, sent you some honey through the mail and Eeyore wants to know if you received it or not because a lot of the time, or some of the times, things can get lost in the complicated mail system. And it would put Eeyore at ease to know that you received his gift, his gift of honey. So Pooh Bear, if you're watching this, please drop Eeyore a line and say that you received his gift. Anything else, Eeyore? Oh, I think we should say hi to her too. We'd also like to say hi to Taylor Mumpson. We miss you on Gossip Girl. We stopped watching Gossip Girl because you weren't on it. And we hope you're enjoying your rock and roll career. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is insufferable. Did you know that I saved some of your more risque photos from your Facebook a long time ago and looked at them before bed sometimes? Can you just be mine and mine only from now on? Marie, K, you can get drunk and act lovey-dovey to me. Z, was not an act. Z, I am in love. Uh oh, Eeyore, it looks like you have competi competition with Z. Who, what could Z stand for? Could it stand for Zach? There's only one Zach we know, and that's Zach Morris. Could Zach Morris be in love with Marie Calloway? I thought he had Kelly Kapowski. Well, we'll see. Let's continue reading. Hmm. Hope if I break your heart, you make intensely misogynistic but amazing piece of art about me. Z. Duh. The art will just be a collage of a bunch of pictures of my dick juxtaposed with chicken wings titled Lick It Clean Marie Calloway, you piece of shit. That doesn't sound very nice, does it, Eeyore? No, it doesn't. Well, let's keep reading. I feel like I belong here. It's scary how much you look like Anna Karina. It's scary how beautiful you are. You are going to destroy me. Am I always going to feel like this? Uncomfortable? Tired, bored, irritable, depressed. Eeyore's nodding his head. 
Bureau is going to be uncomfortable, tired, bored, irritable, depressed. Aren't you, Eeyore? Mm -hmm. I feel exhausted. Being around you makes me feel depressed. How is Marie? Insufferable. It's like she has never interacted with another human being, ever. She's so weird and boring. I don't know how much longer I can take being around her, baby. I feel alone in the world right now. Do you ever feel alone, Eeyore? Well, you shouldn't because you have Pooh and you have Piglet and you have Rabbit and you have Roo and you have Kanga and you have Tigger. So you have friends, Eeyore. I guess I always feel that way, but I don't really think about it. He didn't come home until 4 a.m. I stayed up until 2 a.m. waiting for him. Eventually I fell asleep, using his jacket as a blanket. I woke up to him looking down at me, smiling, while he stroked my hair. I felt like I wanted to be very kind to him from then. I felt very happy and warm. I wanted to be with him. I wanted to be his. I wanted to always be already him so he could show me affection like that. I wanted him to always be stroking my hair. Okay, Eeyore, that's the end. Is there anything you'd like to say? Are there any closing remarks you'd like to give? Okay, Eeyore has to go eat his banana now. Bye. See you next time.